a patient in cardiac arrest has a shockable rhythm. After delivering a shock, the next step is to A. Immediately check for a pulse. B. Resume CPR starting with chest compressions. C. Give epinephrine immediately. D. Perform a 12-lead ECG. Answer, B. After defibrillation, resume CPR immediately to maintain perfusion without delays. The first drug administered in a patient with persistent ventricular fibrillation is A. Amiodarone B. Epinephrine C. Lidocaine D. Adenosine Answer, B. Epinephrine 1 mg 4 IO every 3 to 5 minutes is given as early as possible in cardiac arrest. The recommended chest compression rate for high-quality CPR is A. 80, 100 slash min B. 60, 80 slash min C. 120, 140 slash min D. 100, 120 slash min Answer, D. 100 to 120 compressions per minute optimize circulation and survival rates. A patient has a heart rate of 35 BPM with hypotension and altered mental status. The first medication choice is A. Epinephrine infusion B. Atropine 1 mg 4 C. Dopamine infusion D. Amiodarone bolus Answer, B. Atropine 1 mg 4 is the first-line drug for symptomatic bradycardia. In adult advanced airway management during CPR, breath should be delivered every a. 3 seconds b. 5 to 6 seconds c. 8 to 10 seconds d. 12 seconds Answer, c. For advanced airways, one breath every 6 seconds without interrupting compressions is recommended. A patient in pulseless ventricular tachycardia remains unresponsive after CPR and defibrillation. The next medication is A. Amiodarone 300 mg 4 IO B. Atropine 1 mg 4 C. Adenosine 6 mg Rapid 4 D. Magnesium 2G4 Answer, A. Amiodarone 300 mg 4 IO is given for refractory VF slash pulseless VT after shocks and epinephrine. The term periarrest refers to A. After ROSC only. B. The period immediately before cardiac arrest. C. During CPR. D. Post shock observation. Answer, B. Periarrest describes the period when a patient's condition is unstable and could deteriorate into arrest. In suspected stroke, the target time from ED arrival to CT scan completion is A. 10 minutes B. 25 minutes C. 45 minutes D. 60 minutes Answer, B. Guidelines recommend completing a brain imaging study within 25 minutes of arrival. The preferred energy dose for biphasic defibrillation in VF is A. 50J B. 100J C. 120-200J D. 300J Answer, C. Biphasic defibrillation is most effective between 120-200 to joules. Which drug is contraindicated in pulseless electrical activity? A. Epinephrine B. Amiodarone C. Atropine D. Lidocaine Answer, B. Amiodarone is used for shockable rhythms, not PEA. During CPR, excessive ventilation may A. Improve venous return B. Increase survival rates C. Decrease coronary perfusion pressure D. Lower intrathoracic pressure. Answer, C. Excess ventilation increases intrathoracic pressure, reducing blood return to the heart. A patient with unstable supraventricular tachycardia should receive A. Synchronized cardioversion. B. Adenosine. 
C. Amiodarone. D. Atropine. Answer, A. Unstable tachycardia requires immediate synchronized cardioversion. The first priority in the primary survey of an unresponsive patient is A. Pulse check B. Airway C. Breathing D. Initiating chest compressions Answer, B. Airway management is the first step in the ABC approach, but for a rest, CAB sequence is followed. For torsades to points, the preferred medication is A. Amiodaron. B. Magnesium sulfate. C. Epinephrine. D. Atropine. Answer, B. Magnesium 1 to 2 G4 slash IO is given for torsades. The maximum single dose of atropine for bradycardia is A. 1 mg. B. 2 mg. C. 3 mg. D. 5 mg. Answer, A. Maximum atropine per dose is 1 mg to avoid excessive side effects. In post-cardiac arrest care, the target oxygen saturation is A. 70-80% B. 85-90% C. 92-98% D. 100% at all times. Answer, C. Avoid hyperoxia, keep SpO2 between 92-98% to to reduce oxygen toxicity. Adenosine should be given. A. Slowly over 2 minutes. B. Rapidly 4 push followed by saline flush. C. With continuous infusion. D. In a diluted form over 5 minutes. Answer, B. Adenosine requires rapid push due to its short half-life. The compression to ventilation ratio for a single rescuer in adults is A. 30 colon 2 B. 15 colon 2 C. 10 colon 1 D. Continuous compressions Answer, A. 30 compressions followed by 2 breaths for single rescuer CPR. In suspected ACS, aspirin should be given A. Only after PCI B. Immediately, unless contraindicated. C. Only if chest pain is severe. D. After nitroglycerin. Answer, B. Early aspirin use reduces mortality in ACS. When using an automated external defibrillator, AED, you should. A. Continue touching the patient during analysis. B. Place pads on the abdomen. C. Remove oxygen before use. D. Stop CPR while it analyzes rhythm. Answer, D. AEDs require no patient movement during rhythm analysis.